Hey everybody, Grimer here, coming at you once again from Bar Life. All right, we're here in Roosters and uh, the Dead Rooster here, trying to get this thing set up for an actual horde, though, because today is day 13. Tomorrow is when everything goes wrong, um, and we have some <clears throat> we have some work to do. Well, now last episode I did actually manage to find a robotic drone schematic. I wonder if I have enough stuff here. To, oh, I don't have the motion sensors, that's for sure. Um, motion sensor. I can make them, apparently. That takes some stuff. I wonder if I have enough that I can actually make this. You know, I'm not actually going to worry too much, though, about the drone. I want to I want to get to it, but the sun's coming up, and I really need to... This, is, this isn't going to withstand the horde. This absolutely will not. I've been cooking up some concrete here, though, uh, overnight. I did put down the cement maker, uh, mixer, so that's good. Uh, but we need to grab some supplies, okay? We need to grab some stuff out of here and actually kind of get going on building this horde base. I think I'm going to spend some time doing that today, before the trader opens up. Now, what I'm thinking is uh, building myself a little way to uh, kind of sit down just a little bit. So let's uh, let's make a bunch of these things. Let's make like 50 of them right now. And with these shapes, what I want to do is I want to create like a little trench for me to sit down in. Uh, and that way I can actually like fight these guys as they come across. Uh, maybe even connecting it all the way to the wall right there. Like like so. All right. So now some of these things I really do need the supports to be standing constantly. So I might have to upgrade. That's not like Lieutenant Dan. It is a Lieutenant Dan. It was a Lieutenant Dan. Uh oh, we alerted somebody. Ooh, with the steel axe in the face. Now I oh, there's the morning chime. Oh, is there another one cheaper? Out of here. The bar is closed. But I'm thinking I'm going to have to upgrade down below there. I came up here actually mainly to grab this bad boy. Uh, so I can up actually upgrade these things. So right here I want to sit in this trench. Maybe I don't need to connect to that wall right there. I want to sit in this trench and be able to just cap these guys as they come across. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the shape of this. Actually, hold up one second. We're going to put down a row right here for the zombies to get a little bit of a running start in. Uh, maybe actually we'll do like this maybe just like that so they ha they have this to get going all right and then what i want to do is i want to change the shape of that to a uh i think it's like a pole that's what i'm looking for like a centered pole this one right here uh centered on the side because if we take this bad boy and we do a on face that's not it right there that one that's what i'm talking about um if we do this all the way across which i don't know how, how far i can reach before that breaks um Let's go ahead and uh, copy shape right here for a second because uh, we're going to extend this thing this way right here that is lined up right like I'm not like losing my mind it's actually a little off to one side which is fine let's go ahead and build that up like so what we can do is block that off and then if we copy shape again and uh, copy rotation one of these right there copy rotation we can then extend that this way, like so. All right, so that's the idea, is I want to give the zombies a way up here, like what this is, and then I want to give them a way to me, which is right here, okay? Now, this is going to hopefully... I'm gonna, oh, i got to actually take down this thing up on the top here. This is going to hopefully... Uh, ooh, that's kind of durable. Provide them a clean line of sight to me, but I'm going to cause them to kind of crouch down, so it'll have me have a clean line of sight on their head. And that's the idea, is that I can sit there and just pop them in the head. I'm going to be focusing heavily on guns on this one. However, I am going to put up a barrier to prevent them from actually reaching me, so I can actually switch to melee also. So right here is where I'm going to be sitting, popping them as they're crawling towards me. That's the plan, anyway. This actually looks pretty correct, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this to at least wood. And I wouldn't mind uh, testing this on somebody uh, to see if they'll actually track me this way. But I want to put the... Um, everything up above it actually uh, get that all finished just first too so that I can test it and see if the crouch and everything and get all of that done that way on day 14 I'm not frantically running around like a like a panicked person trying to figure out whether or not I'm gonna be prepared for this or not I also am gonna upgrade the supports right here because that's kind of an important one uh, I don't really want them knocking that out I also have got to go and clear out everything that's kind of in the way here so that, uh, that the zombies don't get stuck on it. Uh, everything, anything... Ah, uh, that's a wooden, apparently. Anything that could get in the way, I want to clear out here. 
All right, but the day is starting to uh, move along here now, so I might want to be moving along as well. I got a little bit of that stuff done, and that's good because then I can work on it tonight and and uh, get the thing up and ready to go. I guess I'll test it tomorrow. Probably be a good idea. Let's drop that in there. I think we are almost good to go. I am getting a little hungry. We did get these chili dogs recently, so let's go ahead and eat one of those things. That feels yep. That's like halfway. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's drink another one of our red teas to help with that digestion. In today's episode, though, I want to get going. I want to get out there. I want to turn in this quest to uh, the trader right here. Got a bunch of money on me, actually. But I do want to get... Uh, I want to get more. I want to get more money. And also, the traders should have restocked today. So let's go check this real fast, see if they got anything good here. Not really. I'll buy the teas just because I'm running out of those things. Um, but... I do want to, uh, the, the trade should restock today, so they might have some really good stuff. Now, my better bartering, uh, let's uh, press the right button here. My better bartering is at three. I could actually pump this up to four, which wouldn't be a bad idea. But I think, it, was I, I can't remember, was I at the point where uh, I could actually take my glasses off and get a different set of things? I might have been at that, I'm not too sure. This guy needs to go away, though. You're kind of uh, interfering with my fun. Sorry about the chlamydia. All right, so Trader Joel's just open right now, so let's go ahead and get in here. Check his vending machine real quick for... Nope, no sugar butts. And see what kind of stock he has now. Uh, oh, yeah, I did do a quest, so let's go ahead and grab ammo, because I'm going to need that. And there's nothing else of any kind of value, so I'll just sell the book. Do you have any jobs? Uh, let's do another clear zombie in the area. Let's take it. I'm not going to actually go do it right now. Sell that thing. Uh, we do have some ammo, which is always nice. Now, your your stock should have restocked today. In fact, it might be worth doing a little uh, trader run to go see what everyone has. I will take your Molotovs, because those will come in handy. Uh, you have honey in case I get infected. Good to know. Pistol's not as good as mine. Oh, here we go. Some books I don't know. Wasteland treasures. Uh, we've uh, fibers into cloth. I can, make, uh, I can make plant fibers into cloth now with that, which is very nice. And there's a sniper volume I don't know. Zooming uses 15% less stamina. That's a good one to have, too. And it looks like that's about all he's got. He's got a better pump shotgun. Yeah, let's do it. A better pump shotgun, and it's also going to have a, another spot in it, too. So, uh, modify. Let's drop that. Yep, so it has an extra modifier slot in it as well. That other shotgun has served me very well. Um, but it's time for me to move on and upgrade. Awesome. All right, so that took a little... Ooh, hold on one second. Uh, you have any open your inventory? I saw them right here. Two motion sensors. I'll take those because that's how I'm going to build my uh, my drone. All right, so that isn't really the guy that I want to talk to, though. I want to go talk to... I want to go do a quest for Jen. Let me go drop off these motion sensors real quick. I'll work on all that later. Actually, hold on. What does it take to make a drone again? It's only going to be a tier one, which isn't very good, but hey, it's something. Uh, it's 10 steel. Do I have 10 steel? Uh, I do have 10 steel. Look at that. All right, so 10 steel. What does it make? I actually can probably get this thing crafting here. Uh, 15 duct tape. Ooh, I only have eight. And yeah, like I'm, I'm going to need some glue. Get those cooking up there. Hopefully that's going to be enough. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make it right here, though, so that's kind of obvious. So I'll just squirt all that stuff back into there. And then let's get, uh, let's get the show on the road. All right, so Jen's got to be close, right? I mean, she's got to be close. I've been doing these quests now pretty constantly. I'm hoping that today is the day that she finally spreads open wide her inventory. Uh, because I need, <laughs> I, need to, uh, I need to get the access to the Tier 5 quest. Alright, so I need her to trust me enough that she will allow me to get all up in there and get her... Oh, that's lead. And get all up in there and get those higher tiered quests. Because that's what I'm really after, you know? So, higher tier quests get some tremendously good rewards. And if I can get that unlocked today, then I might be able to knock one out. There's a snake right there. I might be able to knock one out quickly. I'm, I'm going to have to travel into another trade. Oh, no. She's not going to have the tier 5 quest today anyway. It's going to be a tomorrow thing anyway. Dang it. Actually, that's fine. Tomorrow's still going to be on Nomad difficulty. Maybe I can knock out some tier 5s tomorrow if I can get it unlocked today. So, today, big bulk of the uh, episode will be knocking out quests for Jen here in the desert and getting tier five unlocked. But this is the drive-in that I uh, kind of looted, half looted already earlier, uh, a couple episodes ago. Well, I'm back for more punishment. Let's go ahead and restart this thing. Bring this up forward here. Turn around. Blast that guy in the face. 
Uh, all right, let's let's do this quickly because I'm gonna need to do a lot of this, uh, a lot of looting, a lot of quests today. So, Kenny, get down. Excuse me, miss nurse. You're in the wrong bathroom. There's urinals. Didn't you see? At least Brittany's in the right bathroom. Take that guy out. Take that one out too. We're doing a fast game here. Some of the, some of these guys spawn in always the same place. That's how I know where they are. But some oh, there's a cop. There's a cop. Take him out. Running into cop zombies now. That's a little nerve wracking. Okay, push the button. There is, speaking of nerve wracking, there's a, br a buzzard up there that is being a real pain. Not anymore. Although there's another one coming at me. So I gotta deal with these guys quick. No, oh, that's a dog. Buzzard, be gone. Animals are being a real problem for me. Whew. All right, they're taken care of. So that button should have opened up these places over here. Oh, well, those guys just appeared out of thin air. Look at that. Well, made it really easy to kill them, that's for sure. Oh, hi, buddy. All right, but with these open now, I can get in here and do some more killing. There are no red dots on there, so that hissing is actually a zombie on the outside. There's a cop. That's a, it's actually a zombie on the outside, so I don't really have to worry about that one. I should probably be trying to save ammo-ish a little bit. Hello? Hi. Ooh, there's a large margin here. Let's take her out real quick. Bash her a couple times in the head. She is so tough. All right. Uh, let's grab some gasoline for the car. Sure, why not? And push the switch. Going upstairs. I hear somebody rattling around up here. Sounds like somebody's causing a ruckus over there. Oh, they're awake. There's a dog. Great shooting. Hit him eventually. Another dog. Oh, shot that guy and the dog ran between his legs. All right, there we go. Take those guys out. I think those are the ones from the back room, so that's actually kind of nice because now I don't have to deal with them when I go around the corner. There is also this uh, this uh, ATM right here I wouldn't mind picking again since now that I've reset the... Oh, I, I don't have my lock picks. Oh! Oh, and the main loot's gonna be... Oh! Okay. Okay, that, that could be a problem. Maybe I'll just mark this and I'll, I'll get the main loot a actually later when I come back in here. Are they gone? Yeah, they are gone. They're usually right here. That's where the dogs were. Hi. Bye. Ooh, large margin in the, in the bathroom. I still kick myself over the lock picks. There's two locks here, actually, that I, or three locks that I would need it for if you count the, uh, the ATM. <laughs> Okay, there's some guys upstairs. There's a safe right there. That was one of the places, but I can probably bash that open. Get it? Bash that open? You're just hanging onto the wall for dear life, aren't you, buddy? Oh, God, there's a guy right here. Where'd you come from? Okay, I don't know where he came from, but I know where he went. All right, let's get this thing open. This one should be easy to just bash into. All right, looting goggles on. What do we got in here? Uh, ooh, a lucky looter book. I don't know. Find more dukes and loot. That's volume one. Yes, uh, I absolutely use that. That was a good find. Glad I took the time to bash that open. Maybe I'll take the time to bash the other things open. I'm really kicking myself over that lock picking thing. Uh, maybe I can find some lock picks. All right, let's open that up. I guess I dropped down here, right? Okay, pistol's coming in, coming in on its own here. Ooh, we got some guests outside. We got some guests outside. Sorry. Ooh, that stripper just ducked under that. She's like Neo from the Matrix. Can I not hit her? What's up with the strippers? It's always them that are the hardest ones to hit. Take that one out, too. Looks like these gates, or these uh, trucks have opened up, and there's all sorts of goodies inside. Ow! Uh, let's just uh, use that. That should stop the or help with the abrasion. How are they hitting me first? How much, how much uh, durability is on this? 5,000? That's going to take a second. Uh, I'll get through it. I'll get through it. Finally got into it. Awesome. Let's put the looter goggles on. Anything good in here? 1,000 bucks. Worth it. Actually, I'll be able to sell that for some decent change. All right. Let's go get the, the main loot here. Maybe I'll take the time to bash into the thing, actually, just because it is kind of valuable stuff. Uh, but let's see. Looter goggles are on. Let's go ahead and pick through this. Let's see what we can find. Now that everything's dead. Now, everything actually with tier 6 stun baton. Piece of crap. I don't really like those things, but I'll definitely sell it for some money. Um, now, I don't uh, actually have everything cleared out yet. I do have to go clear out another area still where that yellow dot is over there. But I got most of it cleared. 
some glue. That's actually kind of handy. I was hoping to find some lock pick <laughs> lock picks in there. That would be nice. But take all of that. Uh, take all of that. Any books I don't know? Oh, another lucky looter. Find more ammunition and loot. That's awesome. All right, so this I don't have any lock picks. All right, so let's see how much. Oh, ten thousand. Ten thousand. No, I'm just gonna mark it. That's gonna take way too long to get in. All right, so let's let's get out of here then. Actually, not let's get out of here. Let's go take out these uh, these remaining guys over here, and then let's get out of here. I don't see anyone in there. Do they have? Do they just not load in yet? They didn't load in yet. All right, talk to trader. All right, let's get back then, and uh, and turn this one into Jen. Grab another one from her right away. My lockpicks are all the way back in my other base. Ugh, see if she has some time charges or something like that, because I don't really want to run all the way back there. Oh, Jen, darling, what do you got in your vending machine? Nothing I want. Actually, no, the health bar I don't really need. I got a couple of them back in the base still. Hi. Oh, here's your pay. Hold on, wait one second, Jen. Wait, I, there, there we go. Hi. Steel axe with a uh, tier four. Mine is a little bit better still. Uh, shotgun tube extender. That would be fantastic for my pump shotgun. Increase the magazine capacity by three shells. Uh, we're going to select that one for sure. Tactical assault rifle tier 5. Ooh. It is not as good as my... Uh, it's not as good as my, my one I currently have. Yeah. This one does 52.1. This one does 52.6. Oh, no, it is. This one... Oh, it is. It's a little bit better. Okay, I'm seeing things. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and collect that then do you have any jobs we're looking at more tier fours apparently because we haven't quite you know, earned your trust to do tier fives all right so let's uh let's go ahead and uh, modify take all of this stuff out of there and modify squirt that it's a tier five so it has another uh spot where i can actually throw something to uh, make it do more damage too so i guess that's easily the way i should go let's also go ahead and modify this and throw the tube extender mod in there because that increases the magazine size by three so i don't have to reload as often reload all these things and then Jen could you please take that back then I don't need it Stay safe out there. Jen I'm gonna go take care of this other quest this should be the last one hopefully I'm not really keeping count as I'm riding on out here I suddenly realized I'd never even looked to see if she had any time charges or lock picks so the loot is important but I don't want to waste the time running all the way back home just to get the lock picks mainly I'm here to try to get the tier 5 quests unlocked if I can get those unlocked on this one and I still have time then I, I, I can always run home and go grab them. Actually, if I can get the tier fives unlocked on this one. Oh, is this the is this the CIA house? I don't think I've ever cleared this one, but I do know that there is a landmine in the front of the house. Right there, I see it. I'm gonna go ahead and blow that up just for safety's sake. I'm standing on top of my motorcycle and it's causing my aim to go to hell. Nope, that guy turned away. He's like, yeah, I don't want any of this. No, he's back. There he's dive bombing down. Like, ah! There, take that guy out. All right, so this is... I've never actually cleared this one out before, so this should be fun. Ooh, do I have an airdrop coming today? I can't remember, it's noon though. I don't think so, I think the next airdrop... Nope, never mind, we do. Just don't know how to math. I didn't start the quest yet, so I could... Oh, you didn't drop that very far, did you? I didn't start the quest yet, so I could absolutely go and grab that. In fact, I probably will. Let's go grab this airdrop real fast. All right, it looks like it's coming down right here. It might even land on the building. It might even land on the building. Let me grab some uh, some wood here. I can nerd pole up there if it lands on the building, which it absolutely did. What do we got in here? Uh, hop seed recipe, which I don't need, and there is a melee mods bundle, which is kind of nice. Wouldn't have been great to get another uh, lock picking chest like that, or a thing that had a whole bunch of lock picks in it. That would have really saved my bacon. Excuse me, nothing's gonna save your bacon though. Big fat guy guarding my bike. There is a strip club right there. Technically, that's a bar. I mean, I could have moved into that. Cheers, everybody. Just leveled up there. That's pretty awesome. What am I doing? I'm working on bumping uh, my agility, right? And that's what I did. And Gunslinger, I can I can put another point into. Sweet. Awesome. So I do 20% more damage and fire 10% faster, reload 15% faster with handguns. That's a good thing to do. I wouldn't mind getting the SMG schematic, actually, because if I'm going to be pumping it into there, I want the SMG to be the thing that I use then instead of the assault rifle. But beggars can't be choosers, so I'm going to have to go with what I got. All right, so here we are. 
at the CIA house. I've never actually cleared this one out before, so this is going to be kind of new to me. Um, so I don't really know what I'm doing, but make sure all the guns are loaded. Uh, there are mines everywhere, it would seem. However, I do have the book, uh, Urban Combat, right here. Landmines won't detonate when stepped on. So, good. But they can still detonate if zombies step on them and then blow up next to me. So I got to be careful on that. All right, let's get in here. I don't actually know my way through this POI, so this is going to be kind of challenging. Okay, we got some guys in here. Businessmen in the weight room. That makes sense. Working vending machine here, though. That's kind of interesting. There's an eye candy. I'm going to buy that. Maybe I'll use it before I hit the main... Well, I don't have anything to unlock the main loot, but uh, we're going to save this waypoint, though. Uh, vend. Is this door open? Nope. Can I, go? I can go in here, though. Okay, yeah, I do, I do not know this POI at all. That just woke up a whole bunch of submodies. They're coming up the steps. Oh, there's a runner. Feral, there's a dog. A couple of dogs. Okay, dogs dealt with. Scrolled one too many there. I managed. I wanted to just take them out with my pistol, but that works. I take it I gotta go inside through... Which way? The way they came from down here? Alright, inside now. There's... Somebody just got blown up again. More strippers, more businessmen. Oh, there's a runner back there. Put him on his backside. Whew. All right, like I said, not knowing this POI makes this way more difficult. I'm not even looking to loot much of anything. I just want to get this place clear. Oh, there's people in there. Mm-hmm, not going that way, that's for sure. Oh, I guess we're going upstairs. It's really quiet in here, and it's freaking me out. There are some bookcases in there when mine's searching. Yeah, it's so quiet in here. This is crazy. There we go. That's noises I like to hear. Oh, more zombies. I see ammo in there. I want it. Oh, there's an assault rifle in there, too. That's pretty nice. An AK is in there. Just had a small ammo pile on the ground with an AK apparently lodged inside it. Anyone in the garage? <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no legs. One lockpick. I found one lockpick. There is a chance that I <laughs> that I could open up the loot at the end. A really slim one, but it's still there. Excuse me, buddy. Anyone up here? Oh, there's a dog kennel. Where do I go? There's a light right here, so... Oh, these open up. I see you hiding in there. Trash, I found you. All right, so this is these are the bookshelves that I saw before. Let's drop down. There probably is something in here going to kill me. Let's check the bookshelves. Ooh, there's a muzzle break mod schematic. That's good. Good to know. That was actually a pretty good find. Looks like nothing else, though, of any kind of value. There is something here under the, under the floor. More trash. There looks like It looks like there's an underground complex here. Uh, oh, yeah, there's the stairs down. There's some more nerdy glasses. I can sell those things. Ooh. Just be an adventure like you, and then I take a baseball bat to the knee. Okay, so that opens up, like, all the doors. All right, if that does open up all the doors, does the front doors open? Because, uh, no, they're not. Because that's where I'd have to go to get to my motorcycle. Bulletproof glass, of course it is. So I wanted to dump my inventory, but that's not going to happen. All right, let's keep pressing on, then. All right, going down into the bunker below. That looks like a death hallway. Oh, that was the door I opened up earlier. Mm -hmm. Not going that way, that's for sure. Okay, so death hallway seems to be our only option here. Well, let's set the let's activate the trap. Oh, you're still alive. Okay. What's this? There's a large marge in here. Marge. Man, you're tough. Oh, look at that. Sniper volume. Uh, headshots have a high chance to stun and a greater chance to dismember. Awesome. Read that for sure. We got a mega cr Nope, no, I was going to say mega crush, but that's not in there. All right, there's a button to push. Did something, apparently. Was there no way into that room other than the barred place? Okay, yeah, the 
Interesting. CIA house. This is crazy. Oh, someone's waking up in here. Boop. Get on your backside. Press this button, too. That opened that door over there. Hmm. Zombies dead down here. Somebody's awake. Get down. Bad boy. Oh, look at that. Ducked underneath it. Do you stop jumping all over the place? Jeepers. All right, I'm just trying to follow the POI the best I can. That's locked. Where am I supposed to go, then? I have to bash it open? I'll bash it open if I have to. I just usually don't have to. Okay, I'm bashing it open, then. Woke somebody up. Whoa! He got some distance on that one. <laughs> I came up behind that guy, which means I think I am actually going the wrong way through this, which is a little unfortunate. Here, big guy. Would you just die? Holy cow, that guy's tough. All right, there's a safe here, too, I'm gonna bash into. The night is uh, quickly approaching, though, so I gotta kinda move a little bit. I don't know, I gotta clear the area, so I gotta find everybody. I wish this was just a fetch, but I don't really know if there are any fetches at this point anymore. I think it's all fetch and clear, or just clear. That is open, looter goggles on, for one handgun part. I mean, if I do get the SMG schematic, that might actually be worth it, but for right now, that was kinda, kinda crap. This looks like an interrogation room in there. Like, probably not legal one either, but let's, uh... Hi! These chains? Ah, I don't wanna know what goes on in this torture chamber. Okay, I mean, that, that should have been it, right? Like, there's nowhere else to go? Oh no, there's stuff up there. a lot of zombies. Jump on down here. Let them come to me. Ow. Oh, there's a cop zombie someplace. The ferals need to die, though. Whew, that was exciting. Yeah, I guess, oh, that, that was the last of them too, so sweet. Whew, that was very exciting. Oh, this is where the main loot is. That's why there are so many of them. That is all of them here in the in the uh, this uh, murder house though, so let's let's uh, bust open these things, see what, uh, what I can do about my inventory because it's pretty bad, and then try to figure out how to get out of here. All right, so what do I have? I have one lock pick, right? Uh, yeah, one. What do you think the odds are that I can get this on one, because this is a 10,000 HP chest, there's no way I'm gonna sit here and bash into this thing. But if I can get it on this one, then that'd be amazing. That'd be like Christmas, actually. But do you think the seven eight gods will bless me with that kind of luck? No, they'll get down to one second and then stiff me with it. <laughs> see, I'm guessing there's a way that I can get out of here quickly. Somebody just got blown up. That leads back, okay. I, get, I take it I have to drop down. Oh, there's another lock thing right there. Oh, there's a bunch of guns and stuff. Ugh, I need to... I, I'll grab what I can, but I uh, I need to come back here. Alright, but no joke, how do you get out of here? Like, there's no door in here. Do I have to bash my way out of here? I just need to escape this place. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, the walls are weaker. Actually, hold on one second. Let's turn everything into frame shapes that I can. And then maybe we can do a little bit of this. Well, of course you can't go in there. Why wouldn't you? Why would you be able to? I'm so close out too. No joke, I'm legitimately trapped in here. Okay, I gotta, I gotta dig my way out. This might actually prevent me from getting back and turning in the quest. Just out of curiosity, I dug into into uh, that little thing right here, and it looks like this is dirt. But it's easier dirt than that, uh, or is easier to break than the other stuff. Maybe I can just dig my way up? Note to self, don't drop back down here. I'm free! 
Holy cow, that was rough getting out of there. Where's my motorcycle? Over here? I suppose that's still locked too, huh? It's all right, we'll do this. Awesome, get me out of this murder house, that was crazy. All right, let's go turn this into Jen. I hopefully have enough time to, where is she? She's at back that way. Hopefully that's enough to unlock tier fives because I'm not gonna be able to finish another one now thanks to me being trapped down there. Uh, so let's go turn this thing in. Tier fives, pray for it. And then tomorrow I should be able to knock out a tier five quest and get some sweet rewards, at least one before the horde hits. But tomorrow I'm gonna have to focus a lot of my attention on getting the base ready because it's not yet and I'm still out here and the horde will kill me for sure if I'm not ready. Jen, I have seen some stuff, okay? If no joke, I've really I'll seen some stuff. Time. Let's see, I got the right goggles well, on. Didn't take long. Uh, let's That's ignore smart. that for a second, because I've got to make some room in my inventory. I already have some nerdy glasses, so you can take those. Uh, these are supposed to go right down there. Um, actually, all this stuff is good. I should have left it. <laughs> Hold on one second, Jen. I'll be right back. All right, Jen, sorry about that. I, my inventory was just messed up, full of good stuff. Job. All right, so what do you got? You Steel Helmet Tier 5. That's better than the one I'm wearing, that's for sure. Uh, we're going to take that, and I don't think that anything else is of value. I got a better ratchet already, so yeah, mine's, mine's better. All right, we'll take the steel club just to sell. There it is. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Um, hmm. Okay, so we are going to be able to get the next quests here. So a battery bank bundle, a sniper rifle bundle would be really cool too. Yeah, I'll take the battery bank bundle because that might come in handy for setting up the horde base. Ranged mod bundle, steel armor bundle. Sniper rifle bundle. Let's see that. Do you have any special jobs? Open trade routes. I will gladly accept. Okay. Trader Joel, are you just sending me back to the other one? Try not to get you are. Up. Okay, let's just take a quick uh, job here, a like, tier four, and let's quickly zip you. over there. Actually, because if I can at least get it, let's go, 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 go. If I can at least get it um, unlocked, I mean, then it's done, right? It's done, done. And I have. It's just Joel. It's over here. All right, we made it here. Go quick, go quick. Go talk to him. Well, Done. Bam. Now, let me check one last look at your inventory real quick. Just to make sure you don't have anything in here that I might want. You have an auger, tier two. That's actually something, you know, I'm, I'll buy it from you. Sure, why not? Forgot to sell that to Jen back there, so there you can have it. Oh, and they're closed. Just... Barely got that stuff done. Excuse me, buddy. I need you. It just teleported me out of there. That's how I ended up here. So I need to go grab my motorcycle, which I don't think I parked too close. Nope. Okay. Sweet. All right. So that's a successful day. Uh, we did get Jen to open up tier five quests, which is tremendously helpful because uh, tomorrow is day 14 and it's the last day that I'm going to have where I don't pump the difficulty up to warriors. So if I want to get some good quests or good uh, rewards, that's the time to do it. Now, I have some stuff. Let me just quick stack whatever I can in there. Let's uh, switch this out real quick. Modify. Take these things off. Put that back on. Modify. Put those in there. Now, I do have an extra spot, though. Do we have... I could throw the cooling mesh in there. Actually, that's probably a good idea because I'm in the desert. All right. That was actually very well, very worth it. But let's say I also got myself an auger today. How about that? All right. Let's open this thing up and let's see what is inside it. Bam. A bunch of electronic stuff. We've got a generator bank, tier four battery, some lights. I guess the lights I don't really care about, but the tier four battery is kind of nice. All right, not bad. I wonder if I can whip up. Can I? Can I make electric fences now? Electric uh, fence post is locked. Never mind. I can't make that. I was gonna try to get some electric posts uh, going in this horde base if I could. Looks like that's not gonna happen. All right, and then for the sniper bundle, let's open that up. We got a tier four sniper rifle. That's not too shabby, actually. Not really rolling with a sniper, but I will throw it in the guns chest. I'm not gonna sell that one uh, because that could come in real handy later on. Oh, there's also a tier three battery, it looks like, and the battery bank. <laughs> Look at that. All right, let's open up the mods bundle. Got some more chlamydia, which is awesome. Got some more chlamydia, which is awesome. You know, I'm gonna put that right, uh, not on that, apparently. Not on anything, it would seem. Uh, can I can I put it on my ratchet? No, I can't. <laughs> uh, can, I could probably put it on this, though. Yeah, get a flaming uh, machete. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But I think that's going to be it for this episode, though. Had uh, quite a bit of fun time. We unlocked the uh, Trader Gen's uh, Tier 5 now, so that should be a tomorrow thing that we get to do. But tomorrow, we also have to really focus on the Horde base because uh, the Horde is coming. 
We actually do have a hard now. That's awesome. The horde is coming tomorrow, whether I wanted to or not. So I have to be prepared for it. So we're going to spend tonight organizing. Oi. Get out of here. Crazy drunk. Anyway, uh, I'm going to spend tonight organizing my stuff here, organizing my inventory. And then, uh, and then we'll be all ready to go for tomorrow for the horde. So tomorrow it's all about base building and maybe knocking out a tier 5 quest and then that's about it. So thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I will be back next week where we take on the Day 14 Horde, still alive in bar life. Hopefully I don't die. Thanks again for watching everybody. If you did like it, remember, hit that like button. It helps me out a ton. Still salty about the lockpicks. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I will see you guys uh, next week. Goodbye.